Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I'm here to do the You're Not Good Enough book tag. I was tagged by Dahlia from Library Tears, and I will link her channel down below, so thank you for tagging me. I'm super excited to do this. Um, right before she tagged me, I actually filled the jar full of names, because I was going to do it anyway, but I'm so glad she tagged me. But this, was, this tag is basically like 15 questions, and you pull out two character names, and you pick whichever one goes to that, um, and I will leave the original video down below. So let's get into this because there's 15 questions. And is you only have one more spot on your spelling team? Spelling bee team, who will you? Who do you pick to complete it? Okay, one. Okay, two. I have two. So Annabeth Chase from the Percy Jackson series, or Holland from A Darker Shade of Magic. Definitely Annabeth. Annabeth is a freaking genius and like I don't know if Holland knows how to spell. I mean he probably does but I would pick Annabeth and Holland is kind of scary so I would definitely go with Annabeth because she probably know how to spell anything like and she's a demigod so. Question number two is both characters want to kill you but which character would you kill first for a better chance of surviving so. Name number one, so Jem from the Infernal Devices or Hermione Granger. I don't want to kill either of these, like they're both so sweet. I don't think Hermione would ever kill anybody, but Jem is a shadow hunter, but I love Jem. I'd have to kill Jem because Hermione will probably never want to kill anybody and I feel like she would help me survive, so we're going to kill Jem even though Jim is like the love of my life. I have my computer right here so I can't see looking down. Uh, question number three is you're on The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Um, who would you give your last rose to? We have number one. Number two. Okay. Liam from The Darkest Minds or Snape from Harry Potter. Liam. I love Liam. Liam is like perfect dream boyfriend. He's so sweet and he's and I mean like Snape's a douchebag, so definitely Liam. I would never give a rose to Snape. He can go screw himself. Question number four is you're chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would most likely volunteer in your place? Okay, so we have Jest from Heartless and Draco. Neither, I feel like neither of them would want to volunteer. Draco is, I mean, I love Draco, but he's too much of a, like, a wuss to do anything. I would say Jess, because I think Jess has a really good chance of surviving the Hunger Games, because he's Jess. So, I would say Jess, even though I don't think he would volunteer for me. If I was Kath, he probably would, but he definitely would not volunteer for me, and Draco would not volunteer for anybody. Question number five is, you're stranded on an island. Which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibalism? Okay, the first one is President Snow from The Hunger Games and PETA. Okay, I wouldn't eat PETA. I love PETA, so we're gonna say President Snow even though he's kind of gross. We'll eat President Snow just so I can be stranded on an island with PETA because I love PETA. But, ugh. The next one is you're, you're the next DC Marvel superhero with your own TV show, of course. Who is your sidekick? And Okay, so. Alina from um, Shadow and Bone or Paige from the Bone season. Oh man, Paige is like, I would say Alina because I feel like even though she's the main character, I don't think she has to be, to be like the hero, but Paige I feel like is a hero or like an anti-hero type, morally gray type villain. So I would say Alina, but they would probably be the heroes. Because they have awesome powers, so they would definitely be the heroes, but I'm gonna say Alina is my sidekick. Question number seven is your a manager at an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for lack of communication skills? So, Bella Swan from Twilight or Dumbledore. Definitely Bella, because I feel like Bella is just... Definitely not want Bella, especially movie Bella, because I feel like movie Bella is just like, she looks like she's in pain most of the time. Like... And I feel like Dumbledore, even though I don't like Dumbledore, Dumbledore would be a really good employee. So, we're gonna fire Bella because she's so, like, ugh. The next question is, you've just finished a book in which your favorite character dies. Which character would most likely comfort you? Okay, so we have 
the Darkling and Kel. I would say Kel. Kel is a sweetheart. The Darkling, I love the Darkling, but unless I was Alina, he probably would not. But Kel, Kel's a sweetheart, even though he tries to make himself out not to be. Kel's a baby, so. And Kel is from A Darker Shade of Magic, and the Darkling is from Shadow and Bone. But I would definitely choose Kel, because then I love Kel. I'd, well, I'd want Kel to comfort me, because, like, yes. The next one is, ugh, it's, I, it's high school. Who would most likely be part of the popular clique? In fact, I never went to high school. I went for two solid days and then never went back. Okay, I have my names. Jace Herondale or Lila Bard. Definitely Jace. Jace is a douchebag, okay? I don't really like Jace. But I feel like Lila would be the girl that the popular clique is scared of because she would, like, stab them eventually. But definitely Jace. Jace is all about status and who he is and the... I don't like Jace, but Jace would definitely be part of the popular clique and Lila would try to kill them all. The next question is, the day has finally arrived, you're finally a year older. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? So my birthday is on a holiday, so I would hope nobody would forget it, but, you know. Okay. So the first name we have is Dobby and Adrian from Bloodline. Adrian would, without a doubt, forget my birthday. Dobby, Dobby remembers everything. So Dobby would remember and Adrian would forget because Adrian would probably be drunk and not remember anything and then like two weeks later would be like happy birthday and then yeah so Adrian would forget and Dobby would remember. Question number 11 is you've just found an upcoming booktube star. Who would it be? Okay so we have Damon Black from the Lux series and Lena from the Caster Chronicles. I would say Lena even though Damon helps Katie. I feel like Lena would be a better booktube star. I feel like Damon would be like one of those fitness YouTube stars. But I feel like Lena would be a good booktube star because she's very quirky and has a good personality and she's weird. And so Lena definitely. Damon would be like a, one of them fitness ones that's all about eating healthy. Question number 12 is it's sleepover time. Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would you invite? Ashrin from the Dark Hunter series by Charlene Kenyon or Margo from Paper Towns. That's a tough one. Margo's kind of a bitch. She is a bitch. Ashrin is a thousand year old demon hunter with anger management problems. But I would probably say Ashrin because I just I feel like Margo would be too much drama for me. So I would say Ashrin and he's gorgeous. And I kind of want to marry him. So I would say Ashran just because Margot is very already like popular girl-ish. And she would probably want to start a lot of crap. And so I would say Ashran. Question number 13 is bam you're pregnant. Who's the mother or father at? Levi from Fangirl. Or Simon Snow. Oh I love them both. Okay probably Levi because I feel like Levi is more up my alley. But I love Simon. Oh. But can they both be? I don't know. Okay, I would probably say Levi just because I love Simon and Baz together so much. I would probably say Levi because I wouldn't want to break them up. I would probably say Levi. Question number 14 is you've just written a super important text. Who would see it but not reply? Reply. Lady Helen from the Dark Days Pact or Clary Frey. See, but Lady Helen doesn't have like technology in her world. I would say Lady Helen because I feel like since she doesn't have technology in her world, she tried to use a phone and not understand it, and so just like probably crushed it on the ground. I feel like Claire would be pretty pretty good at answering her text messages, but I feel like Lady Helen wouldn't have the patience to type back a text. But yeah, so Lady Helen would forget, and Clary would probably reply pretty fast. Question number fifteen, and the last question is: You've just woken up, and it's time for bre breakfast. Your mom's been replaced by who? Percy Jackson or Warden? Oh my goodness. Can you imagine Percy Jackson standing in my kitchen making blue waffles? But can you imagine Warden from the Bone Season standing in a kitchen making breakfast? I mean, I want to say Warden, but like, he doesn't really understand how humans work. So I'd have to say Percy, just because I feel like he could survive by making me blue waffles or blue pancakes all the time. I want to say Warden, because I want Warden to be in my kitchen, but... I love Warden, but Percy is going to have to be my mom now to make me waffles. I don't know, maybe his mom will be included in it and she can be my mom too because she's pretty cool. Okay, so Percy's my So that is it for this tag. Thank you for tagging me. 
and yeah this was really fun but this video is 15 minutes long now so this is gonna be a lot to edit so yeah i will see you guys in another video